What's going on? This is Marcus and in today's video, this is just the February mid-month breakdown where we go in and talk about new expenses and things that came up that were outside of the normal budget and if any additional income came in. If you're interested in following my debt-free journey and learning about finance, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and definitely click that like button because it'll help the channel grow. Let's go ahead, jump to the board and talk about the numbers. All right, so we're about to go over the numbers so far in February for the first half of February. As you always know, there's always stuff that happens, but let's just go ahead and write through it on the board. First up, as you already know, yep, so I've been paying dental costs for about three months now, but this should be the last payment. So with the dental costs, we were looking at $769.99. The next cost that we have is I changed my internet service provider. At the beginning of the year, I got my internet bill and I looked and they charged additional fee increases that was almost $30 and that definitely wasn't happening. So I found a new provider with a much lower rate, but I had to pay $100 so they can come out and do the wire work to get everything set up to the house. And I had to pay $43 and this additional $43 that I had to pay was a prorated uh, payment for the service from the old service provider that I had prior to switching over to the new service provider. So $143 to get up to speed with my new internet service provider. Okay, and the last cost that I have is me, I actually went over my budget on my personal spending, which was $24.76. Um, just a short story, a little bit about me. I always like rooting for the little guy, the bad guy. I'm the only person who rooted for the Joker in the Batman movie. I like rooting for the underdogs. Even, I mean, even on YouTube, if it's two channels that I'm looking at and they both have content I like, but one has 100,000 subscribers and the other one has 200 subscribers, I'm going to look at the smaller channel because I always like seeing the little guy win and I actually made a promise to uh, support this small business that I actually forgot to do the calculations, so I went a little bit over with that. So the total amount that we have that's outside of the normal parameters for our normal expenses that are fixed in our normal budget is $937.75. I'm going to put a link up here to the previous video I did in January where I outlined the new budget for February going forward that showed all the expenses for each category. Now let's take a look at what additional income we had coming in. For additional income I had $1,666.35. That was in the form of an escrow refund that I'm going to be receiving this month. So I said, hey, let's just throw it in to this mid-month February breakdown. So, let me give you the low on the escrow refund. So essentially with the escrow refund and what escrow is for anybody who may not know, escrow is essentially a, a portion of money that's allotted when a person has a mortgage to pay off their taxes and their insurance. Once you do a refinance and you assume a new mortgage, there's two payments that you could potentially get. The first payment is going to be a refund that's due at closing if they provided you some assistance towards the closing. The second payment that you can get is an escrow refund. So your original loan servicer who's holding your mortgage, they have to provide you a refund of any money that you have in escrow once that new loan servicer pays off that original mortgage obligation. So typically, and I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's either 30 or 45 days, but by law, they have to give you that refund. Normally, they get it out to you within 21 days of processing and receiving the payment from the new servicer. So that's essentially where the additional income came from. Another bonus that really worked out in our favor this month was that because I just refinanced, 
my rental property i wasn't obligated to make a rental payment this month so that's going to be a big time help so once we crunch all the numbers up the dental costs the additional for the internet service that i got switched over me overspending because i forgot that i gave somebody my word or something and i had to hold true to that and calculating this escrow refund in we're looking at an additional 726 dollars and 60 cents at the end of the month that is going to go i'm not sure where it's going to go yet i got to think about it it's either going to go towards the pot of money that i'm going to use for the student loan payment or the emergency fund i'm really leaning towards the pot of money for the student loan payment but i figure it out once the end of the month fully rolls around let's get back to marcus sitting in the chair so this is the february wrap up we'll have some additional income so far so good let's keep our fingers crossed that no rental property repairs or nothing crazy come up Hey, I appreciate you all tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Y'all take care. Peace.